Hey y'all, it's your girl Di and I'm trying something new as you can see. Okay, so a lot of y'all know that I have started the whole, I'm trying out the vegan thing pretty much. And I'm trying out different vegan brands and things like that because I'm transitioning. So um, what my eating is like during the week is like um, I'll eat, during the week I'll eat vegan and then on the weekends I'll have like my cheat days, you know? Uh, starting Friday. <laughs> but um, so here I have, uh, I'm trying out the um, Beyond Brats and the Beyond Meat um, Italian, hot Italian sausage. I think they have a sweet Italian sausage too, but they didn't have that in stores. Um, so right here I have my little, I'm going to do a little mukbang today. <laughs> and uh, so I have my, this is going to be the hot Italian right here. This is the hot Italian. This is the uh, bratwurst. Um, I have two wheat buns, whole wheat buns. I got those from Whole Foods. Um, what did I get the Beyond? I think I got the Beyond sausages from Whole Foods as well. Uh, I have some caramelized onions and peppers. And then I have some fresh cucumbers. And oh, get this. So I made, I'm a huge fan of Ghetto Vegans. If you don't know who they are, check them out. Um, shout out to them. I made their ranch sauce and vegan ranch. And mine came out, you know what? Honestly, mine came out a little watery because I think my lemon was a little bigger than regular lemons. So, um, but it was still really good. I really love this stuff. So, um, I'll have to find a way to thicken it, but overall, I love this stuff. So, um, the moment you've all been waiting for, here's the taste test. I'm gonna give you an honest review. What I did was I kind of like pan fried these. Um, and put the onions in there too. Uh, so I think I'm gonna try the bratwurst first because I don't want like the spiciness of the hot Italian one to affect my taste for this um, brat. Okay, so I'm cutting it. It looks like real meat. I know y'all probably can't see because my setup it might be far, but it looks kind of like pinkish, like like pork um okay here we go mm. okay so i can definitely taste okay you know how you somebody cooks something at, at their house and or somebody brings something everybody brings something to the pot look and you know which dish came from which person because it kind of tastes like their house i don't know if that makes did that make sense to y'all anyway it kind of i it tastes like it been in the beyond meat factory's house pretty much so we know that it's beyond meat well i do i have really sensitive taste buds or something so I know it's Beyond Meat, but the Beyond Meat flavor uh, kind of mimics, it, it, it mimics pork really well here uh, for the brat. I really, I like this one. I like it, there's like a skin to it, but I think when I pan fried it, the skin kind of like came off. It was really sticky in my pot or in my pan, but my pan is a non-stick pan and I put oil in it beforehand, but it kind of stuck to it. Um, maybe if I like made it another way, um, the crust will stay intact. But there's, there's still like a crunch here. Uh, I really pan fried these hard on the sides. Okay, so now I'm gonna try the um, the hot Italian. It's a little uh, more red in color. Um, there's a crunch to it. Um, it looks like sausage. It looks like sausage. It has those little, you know, those little speckles and bits of like the white trans, like translucent. What is it? I don't know. The little cuts of pork. It looks like that in there. Um, yeah. Mmm. 
definitely this is definitely my favorite one um the hot italian sausage is definitely my favorite one um i could see myself doing that with like you know the pastas and stuff um just to have because i don't like the what is it called satan or whatever satan strips and oh my gosh i had um some because i do the purple carrot and they sent me some satan whatever i might add the picture up in here somewhere and um it just tasted so bad it, it was a really bad flavor i wouldn't have um i didn't like it you know but maybe i just need to season season it different or something i don't know but i've de definitely like the hot one um let me hold them both up the hot one versus the brat so this is the brat this is the hot one um so now that we got that out the way i'm gonna talk about my um how it's been going with me being the whole vegan thing and it's gonna be like a mini mukbang slash me talking and eating and uh, if y'all don't like food sounds this probably ain't the video for you if y'all are new to mukbangs muk i say mukbangs mukbangs whatever you however you want to say it if you're not used to if you don't like to hear people chew and crunch and stuff this is not gonna this part of the video ain't gonna be for you okay so um look how <laughs> look how soupy my ranch is <laughs> Oh, man, but it's still good. It has a lot of flavor, so. Mmm. See? It's so drippy. Mmm. So, I look so ratchet right now having these. These are like carryout containers. And I'm all about recycling. But. Mmm. It's good. I'm all about recycling. But. And um, oh, excuse me, I lost my train as well. I'm all about recycling, so I if I go to carryouts or something or order something in, I always keep the little containers or whatever. Um, my purple care box, well, my boxes have like you know the little containers that they put like different sauces and stuff in, and um, so I keep those. Like I'm a plastic little thing. What is it? Plastic container hoarder or something. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to actually put this on here. So, I keep these. But what happened was my little glass containers, I had these pretty glass containers, like little dishes that you could just put sauces and stuff in. Oh, look at that. I love onions. Um, I love, um, damn, I forgot my veganaise. I was going to put veganaise on my, my wheat bun. But we'll just tough it out with this ketchup and mustard. I might dip it in ranch. You know how, like, I love be loved too. How she be, like, just dipping everything and everything. I might just do that. Um, we'll put some ketchup on there. Yeah. I'm going to do my thumbnail. Okay. Let me do both. Anyway, so yeah, my little glass bowls, they are gone because I opened the cabinet. And you know how you don't want to, if dishes are stacked on top of dishes, you don't really want to lift all the dishes out and get what you need. So I thought I could slide a plate from up under them damn things, them bowls, and everything came crashing down and y'all know if y'all know me i'm a little clumsy slightly clumsy you might not want to have me around um <laughs> you might not want to have me around your important stuff i don't know like mm, i'm a little clumsy but um my mom used to my mom enrolled me in the etiquette class when i was a kid i was so clumsy she was trying to make me graceful uh -huh some ketchup and mustard on there mm. okay so let me do a thumbnail now I got ketchup and mustard everywhere oh 
Okay. I'm going to pick one. Just know it's going to be one. Um, anyway, how my vegan journey is. Okay. So I started it. I started ordering this per these purple carrot boxes. I was like, one day. No, seriously, though. One day I just woke up and was like, I'm going to be vegan. I think I was having a very um, bad cycle, menstrual cycle. And I just kind of acted off of that. Like, uh, my skin was breaking out really bad. I had these real intense cravings. I'm about to be almost 30. And nobody told me it would be this way. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those peppers set that off. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It was like a messy mukbang. Oh, that was good. Those peppers really set that off. Mm. So anyway, I woke up one day and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna go vegan. I'm gonna try it. I used to date a guy who was kind of like a semi-vegan, but I used to be cooking, cooking. So, he wouldn't stay in vegan for long while I was in the house, you know? Hmm. So, mm. So, and I think that um, veganism is supposed to be decided by you you know you can't just i don't know for some people i guess they can just like hey if i live in a house with somebody that's doing this i'll do it you know and some people are just like no i am not eating that crap i know a lot of people who are like that and which is okay like i'm not gonna force being vegan down anybody's throat because i barely even want to be a vegan the only thing i want to really do is i mean i do want to be a vegan but i don't kind of because i love I love animals, but I love the animals. <laughs> I love animals, but I love the animals. So it's kind of putting me in a, I'm not doing it for the love of animals, you know, um, because animals are tasty as far as I am programmed to believe now, as far as I'm programmed to believe now. Um, but maybe that can change later down the line. Um, I've seen, I've done a lot of research and I've watched a lot of people in their like vegan vlogs and stuff and journeys. And a lot of them, they were like, we don't even like the, the feel, the texture of flesh, you know? So I was watching a, um, Ooh, that was good. Whew. I was watching a, a YouTuber and he was doing like the review on one of these, some of these. And he was like, I don't really like the taste of flesh. I forget his name. He was like, I don't really like the taste of, or the texture of flesh. We like raw vegan stuff. But since this is more like for transitioning vegans. So I was like, I'm transitioning. So this is me trying. And this is not bad. This is not bad. Um, it's not bad. Mmm. Mmm. Oh good. So anyway, when I decided to do the vegan thing, I ordered purple carrot, um, just so I can learn how like how I'm supposed to cook. If I'm vegan, how am I supposed to cook? Like, do we have the same? I just thought it was gonna be so different, but doing my research and actually watching. Other YouTubers, um, like what they make and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, this is doable. So what I started doing was substituting. Like even on the weekends, on the weekend when I um have my cheat day or whatever, I pretty much try to substitute in places like instead of getting a 
a regular appetizer I'll get like fried cauliflower which is very satisfying for me I actually get full off of that um oh, excuse me which is really good um or I just try to you know these past two these past two weekends have been really I'm actually full y'all this is why I'm like I'm full actually right now um Mmm. It's the hot Italian. Mmm. Mmm. Anyway. Ooh. It's good. It's not too spicy. I know it, it says hot on the thing. But it's not too spicy. It's, um... That's actually just just right. I actually could add a little more spice, and I'm not like a I have to have a spicy this person and that, but um, I could I could have stood a little more spice, but it's good though. It's good. Um, so what I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Uh, for breakfast, oh, I started eating uh the just eggs. They're like vegan eggs. Um, and I bought like the field roast, I think it's like the field roast chicken, apple, sage kind of sausage. I had that, I actually had that yesterday. I tried out a few of the, like the tempeh, I don't know how to say it. It's like the little bacon thingies. I tried veggie sausages, um, and the field roast um sausage links which is really made out of potatoes and stuff all of that stuff is vegan and um i actually which one do i like the best i kind of bought the field roast because i was looking at you know some of the vegans um vegan channels and what they eat and what they liked the kind of sausage and a lot of people said a uh, field roast but I didn't really, mm, I was kind of like, mm, I'm just wishing Beyond would come out with some sausage, some breakfast sausages or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll get over that hurdle of wanting something that replicates meat for me. Um, so, yeah, that and I had recently bought some vegan butter. It's like Mykonos or something. And I'm telling you, y'all. It was so good. I wouldn't have even never thought, knew that it was like not vegan, that it was vegan uh, because it was so good. I had two slices of toast. Now, here's what gets you on a vegan thing for me. Here's what gets me. I opt for, I opt for like pastas and stuff to get full. Pastas and breads to get full. And, um, so I'm learning to like incorporate like cauliflower, oh, excuse me, um, things like sweet potato, good starches, uh, spaghetti squash, and stuff like that. So what I'm really doing is kind of like the trial and error of finding out what I like as a vegan. And I'm just hoping that I don't get tired. of eating the same stuff because I'm on the East Coast and we don't get all of the, you know, West Coast Cali, they got all the vegan restaurants and all of the newest vegan stuff, but it seems like it takes forever for stuff to get on the East Coast. Like, can us East Coast vegans and new vegan, like East Coast vegans, like I've been doing this for a minute. Um, but can we, the transitioning people or whatever, can we actually have stuff drop when y'all drop it over there? Like, dang, we be feeling neglected over here. Mm. But anyway, this ranch is so good. I just wish it wasn't so soupy. Look, it's like dripping. <laughs> but it's vegan. I think I put a lot of dill in here. I mean, 
which it don't taste bad, but maybe I'll cut back next time or something. Mm. I'm kind of full, y'all. Um, so yeah, and for lunch, okay. For lunch, I do like Beyond Burgers and stuff. Beyond brats and Italian sausage. I'll eat some hummus and some pita chips um, as a snack um, or some fruit. I really like to cut up fruit and stuff. Um, for dinner, I usually just go with the purple carrot box, uh, something that they have in there. Um, I did in my last video vlog, I did, um, I cooked some purple carrot stuff, chilaquiles. Um, there's been other recipes I've been getting the boxes for. I think this is the third week now. So I'm just going through boxes. I'll take a picture and put them on Snap. I need to start posting more on Instagram. I'm working on that. I just be, I don't know. It's weird. Um, and on the weekends, I try to behave myself. But the last two weekends, somebody convinced me somebody convinced me to go to a barbecue place and now i already have my barbecue place that i go to my regular barbecue place but it was like let's go try this so i went there and i that stuff did not sit right with my stomach or something like it wasn't good either it wasn't like the best barbecue and it just didn't sit right with my stomach so i hacked all of that all the way up and the next weekend I was like man I cannot let this past barbecue experience that I had be my last one because I need my barbecue experience to be like my last barbecue experience if I'm supposed to be vegan I need the last barbecue experience to be a one so the next weekend <laughs> I kind of had barbecue again and I had some ribs and uh, they were everything that I ever hoped for. Um, they were really good. So I'm done on the ribs. Now, I think this weekend, I'm not trying to go hard on the weekends, but those two were my past and my, my last, you know. But um, this weekend, I think I'm gonna opt for maybe some seafood if I do. I did well last Friday. I just had like a little salad. But, um, Friday I had a little salad. Saturday I had, what did I have? I think I did eat vegan Saturday, maybe. I had some cauliflower. Yeah, I think. Yep. And then Sunday I had the, the ribs and potato salad, which is, I mean, the potato salad was vegetarian, but it did have animal products with the mayo and stuff. So, but it was good. But, um... This weekend, I think I'm just going to do seafood. If I do go out of that, um, uh, out of my, off my little vegan thing, I was debating on whether I should do the weekends or not, but it definitely gives me something to look forward to. And I like having that, that goal, like, okay, I'm going to just, I just got to wait it out until this time. I just got to wait it out to that time. Um, I started, uh, I don't see a significant change in my weight or anything yet. Probably because I'm eating all these damn carbs. Uh, but being that I'm transitioning, I expect it to be weird for my body. My skin is clear. Um, I didn't have, yeah, it wasn't, um, yeah my skin is better i don't feel as heavy after i eat i feel full but not like mm. and even when i was eating when i eat like regular food that's not vegan i never eat to the point where i feel really full i always stop myself because i hate that feeling but um with the vegan stuff i it's easier for me to stop because i mean some of it ain't really as <laughs> as um tasty as my regular food or whatever if that makes sense so it's easier for me to be like okay i'm good you know after i ate this i'm good whatever 
Um, I did have ice cream um, Monday. <laughs> Monday night I had ice cream because I brought this um, this ice cream. It was like a vegan butter pecan. And it was so nasty. I was so disappointed. I was like, oh my God, I need some ice cream. So I think as of now, I would definitely think that I would be a vegetarian over being a vegan. If I, you know, I mean, this whole thing is not for me to be like, oh, I'm vegan now, you know? It's not that for me. It's more of me incorporating more plant-based stuff. Like, if I can live without it, I can live without it. Like, during the week, everyday life, I can eat vegan, you know? Because it's easy for me, because I can control it. Um, but on the weekends, when we have, there's so many food festivals and stuff. It's about to be fall, pumpkin spice lattes, and all kinds of stuff chilies oh, I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do and we don't have vegan festivals like they do on the west coast here on the east coast so these jerk festivals and all kinds of mac and cheese festivals it's too much temptation around here I went to a restaurant a few times and I was actually pretty decent um, remember when I uh, told you about the, the fried cauliflower I ate that one time and then actually my first weekend um, doing vegan throughout the week uh, on that weekend I had some crab benedict which I didn't feel bad about because it was like a pescatarian diet so I was like okay I didn't feel super bad I did feel a little uh, because I don't my stomach and real eggs it doesn't really mm, but it's so good when i'm eating it so i just have to take that l just like ice cream i'm very lactose intolerant uh ice cream affects my body in in uh really severe ways y'all if y'all know what i mean and yeah it's just yeah anyway so that was my kind of like review on this the beyond meats um beyond beef i think i think beyond meat okay beyond meat right beyond meat bratwurst and the hot italian sausage i wish i could have found the sweet italian because it would have been cool to try all of them and then um so this is featuring the ghetto vegans ranch recipe my watered down version but it was so good it's still good like this this little bit is from like I have made what is it half a cup like the recipe said on the video that was like yesterday and this is what's left I was eating my veggies yesterday I love this stuff even though it's watery for me how I made it I love this stuff can y'all hear that crunch I wonder if y'all can hear that. I always like hearing the crunch in people's mukbangs when they bite into fresh veggies, which is why I bought these little cucumbers out. I think y'all could have heard it. Mm. Okay. Well, that's it for this here. Um, I'm pretty sure I want to call these little segments that I do sit down and talk. I'm going to actually... Um, Try to do like once a week, have something new that I'm trying and eat it on camera and just talk. If y'all want to see more of stuff like this where I'm trying something new and telling y'all how I, I think it tastes and all of that good stuff and me talking, just let me know. Comment below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.